Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to Being Guru Analytics Channel. This is Mujib Rada video. Today we will see how we can design uh, make a circuit for water tank controller. So let's start. So let's say if in your house or in your apartment uh, you have two tanks. So tank number one uh, we have 30,000 gallon capacity and tank two which is smaller one we have 1000 gallon capacity so what happen uh, if you have one pump and one pump like this is we have one pump here and this is supplying water to this tank and also it is supplying water to this tank so what will happen this tank will take more time to fill and this tank will fill fast every time so it will overflow and the water will be wasted so what we will do we will put one uh, valve here electronic valve so when this tank is full so we will stop the supply of water to this tank and the water will keep going to this tank too so let's start so we will need uh, one sov this is a solenoid valve electronic operated it comes in two types normally open and normally close just like electronic uh, normally open normally close contacts but this is mechanical NONC like if normally open what is normally open in the mechanical context like if you supply water from one side and it is normally open so it will give you water supply on the other side but if it's normally closed so if you give water from this side it will not give water on the other side unless you apply the power source to this uh, solenoid so this is uh, NONC in the SOV context then secondly we need the float switch so this is float switch so these two items uh, we need to make our circuit so let's consider we have uh, one tank so this is this complete is the float switch and this is the the motor is supplying water through this pipe and what we'll do we will put one solenoid valve on this pipe like this so what will happen when this level uh, float switch reach from this point to this point so it will turn off the supply from here so the water will not be uh, overflow in this case so let's see what circuit we need for this so we have the float switch so we will give 220 volt this is 220 volt phase so we will give the phase to the float switch to this one this point and from the float switch we have three uh, wires coming one is normally open one is normally close and one is common so we will take the normally open and the common so the common uh, and normally open we will take so the, what is the normally open so in the lower state it will be normally open it will not conduct uh, it will not through the supply to the solenoid valve in case it is in the lower state so when the water level rises so this float switch will rise and when this float switch um, reach to this point so what will happen it will close so when it's closed so this 220 volt supply will pass through the float switch and it will go to the solenoid so the solenoid will get the supply from here a phase supply from here and the neutral from here this is neutral so this what will happen this solenoid valve will close the supply so in this case uh, when the tank is full so this solenoid will close and it will not let uh, more water to fill it to go inside the tank so in this case our water will be safe and it will be you know, like automatic control of the water in the tank so we have the solenoid uh, connected to the tank at the inlet side and this is the solenoid valve and this is normally closed one so it is connected the in, inside of the tank and we have the float switch inside the tank you can see this uh, yellow and blue this is the float switch 
so now the tank is full so the water supply is off so if you turn it down so it will turn on the supply so now the supply is on so if you make it again up it will turn off the supply if you make it down it will turn on the supply so like this we can control the water supply to the tank So this is about uh, water level control so if you have any question do let us know in the comment section and like the video share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe thank you